Hi guys, Lee here, Theme Park Ohana. This is a little bonus vlog. Uh, I'm going to be posting this Sunday morning. I am back at the Caribbean beach because people asked me, and I didn't even know this was a thing that was happening here, to check on the construction of the Spyglass Grill that's coming as a new quick service here in the Caribbean beach. Follow. Along. going here in Trinidad South and the open date was spring of this year so it should be close to completion let's go see if I can find it I this people brought it up in the comments from yesterday's video or I guess now it'll be from Friday's video that I didn't even know this was happening until I saw the comments from people it's really not talked about much so this has to be it because from what I did what I found out during doing some research it's gonna be by the pool it looks like it's gonna be like an outside type quick service, maybe like a, a bar too. Uh, let's walk around and see if I can find out some more details. So I don't know well you can see it, I've been wandering around, I was gonna make my way around to the back of where they're, doing, they're building the Spyglass Grill, and when I came and looked to the left over across the waterway, I don't know if you guys can make these out, but these are the new gondola towers. I, I, never, I can't believe I've never come back here and seen this. This is the first time I've seen any of the towers up gonna zoom in I'm not sure how shaky I'm gonna be but here's one of the towers and to the left you'll see another one and this is the this is going towards uh, art of animation and pop century and to the right here come the towers for the gondola heading into Caribbean Beach so how awesome is that right there behind me gondola towers are going in and this is the line right here that's going to connect Pop Century and Art Animation to Caribbean Beach. Crazy! Alright, so here's a little over the fence kind of look here at the Spyglass Grill. They're putting in all new concrete here on the walkway. I'm guessing it's just going to be like an outside poolside bar and grill where you can get quick service food and drinks. This has to be the location where it's coming in. All, everything says it's in Trinidad South and that's where I am, Trinidad South. And Aside from the gondola construction across the water, this is the only construction going on around here. What kind of stinks about this construction here is there's really no signs stating what the construction is. Any, uh, any artwork that kind of shows you what it's going to look like or any opening date information. I'll kind of give you an idea that they have it completely cut off the whole pool area and the building there. Which I believe is going to be the new restaurant. Pretty cool. So you still do have access to the pool. I see people swimming. But look, oh, look at the new concrete going in. I like it. It's a big walkway. It's going to be good for their little golf carts. And this gives you kind of a view of the construction of the walkway. Look, someone was so upset about getting their checkout Magical Express. They just threw it on the ground. I would too. Here kind of, here's kind of a look from the other side. It still looks like it's quite a ways off. Can't, there's no way for me to see the other side. Maybe if I go over to building 35, I might be able to see more. Let's go take a look. So here's some of the view from building 35. You kind of see the side of the building. So all the quick service is going to be right here in this front side. Let me go over here a little bit. So this is looking like it's going to be pretty small. Not Maybe not a huge offering of food and drinks. Um, someone had asked, do you think they'll close down the tent because this is going to open? I would say no, because this there's no way this would suffice. So the tent will probably stay open. This will just be an added bonus. What do you guys think? I think it's pretty small. Um, could be interesting to see once it's open. Post in the comments below what you guys think about this proposed location and this new quick service here at Caribbean Beach. So now that I saw those towers, it's got my head, my, my head spinning. I'm gonna go stop at Art of Animation and Pop Century. Well, either one, it doesn't matter. You can walk across the middle. I'm gonna stop on the way home and see if you can see anything new for the gondola system from that vantage point since that, that line is running that way. So I made it to Pop Century. Let's make our way to the bridge and see what there is to see. Kind of interesting. So this vlog is getting to be all over the place. This number six building is now complete here at Pop Century. They're currently working on the number four building. And this is on the other side of the pool. 
And it looks like they're wrapping up, actually. All right, so this looks very much like it did the last time I was here at Pop Century. Not much has changed here on the waterway. I'm gonna come to a different angle. You can see something a little different. So way off in the distance at the one end of the lake that is pointing towards Caribbean Beach, you can see the towers have made its way all the way to the water. They just haven't started putting the towers in that are actually in the water. Definitely some progress is being made on the gondola system. All right, now coming in, I could really, I really got a good look at the towers, a few of the towers. So I'm gonna try to get a look at them on the way out of here. So I don't know how well you can see it. There it is. This is one of the towers. It's a close-up look. Wow. All right, one last stop for the day. And that is St. Cloud Post Office to see if we have any mail. It's so eerie in here. It's always so quiet. Here we are. 700 997. Hey, there's something in here. Arr, what else we got? Sweet! Ryan cut the grass and it looks amazing. It's like the first time we cut it since uh, spring started. Because in Florida, grass just stops growing. And now it'll just start growing like crazy. But thank goodness he finally cut the grass. Oh my goodness, he did such a good job. And what's also awesome is my mother in law is down visiting and she loves to weed our flower beds. Hi, Mr. Marlin. So we did get one piece of mail today from Sue Cole. We're gonna save that for our next mail vlog. Hopefully next Sunday we're gonna have our next mail our next mail mail vlog. Cause Frankie Rob apparently has something in the post for us. And I bet it's gonna be interesting. But thank you, Sue. We'll we'll save this for the next live feed. What do you got there? Socks. Yeah. Ears and some of the eggs from the egg hunt. Let's see the ears. Oh. oh, they're a perfect fit. <laughs> All right, guys, crazy. How cool is that gondola construction? I would, I like went to see one thing, saw a totally different thing. So I love when that happens. When I, and I'm all excited, like my inner Disney geek is like bursting with joy. So that being said, if you enjoyed the video, hit that subscribe button. Keep following our adventures. And we'll see you next time. I think I see Kirsten inside the screen. Woo! Ah! And guys, don't forget to subscribe to Theme Park Ohana. We're the best channel out there. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.